there everyone today I am back doing another video this video is going to be a book review on the book Auschwitz a doctor's eyewitness account by Miklos Naisley I don't really know how to pronounce his name but I read this book on my Kindle so I will just quickly show you a picture of what the book looks like and before I get started on this book review I must apologize I have not done a book review in so long I can't even remember the last book that I reviewed or the last book review that I put up for you guys but um you know just with school and life I haven't really had time to read uh, the books that I wanted to read but since I am on summer vacation I was able to read this book and now I'm going to do a book review on it. So as you can tell by the title of this book this book is dealing with um the holocaust and everything like that and the author um gives his eyewitness account of, of the things he uh, had to deal with in the Holocaust, the things he saw, the things he had to do, just his experience on it. So this is a true story. The author was actually in the Holocaust. So to kind of give a background of this book and the things that the author described in this book, um, it was him, his wife, and his daughter. They were forced into the concentration camps. So once they got to the concentration camps, the Nazi soldier or whatever they're called, he asked for all doctors to raise their hand or to step forward. And the author, Miklos, again, I don't know if that's how you pronounce his name, but he is a doctor. Uh, I'm not sure what his like, specialty is, but he is a doctor. And he did mention that he was actually really scared. And he thought about not stepping forward, saying he was a doctor, just because, you know, of the obvious reason. He just didn't know what was going to happen. He didn't know if, um, you know, they were going to be killed because they were doctors, you know, things like that. He was just obviously scared. But he did decide to tell the truth, step forward. And because of that, he did kind of experience things differently than if you if he wasn't a doctor, if that makes any sense. Uh, because he was a doctor, he was made to do research for the Nazis and the Germans on uh, the Jews, things like that. So because of that, they were, the doctors were treated a little bit better. Of course, it was still a terrible experience to go through the things that he had to do, the things that he saw and things like that. And especially since his wife and his daughter, they weren't doctors and, you know, he knew that they were out there in the concentration camp somewhere, but he didn't know if they were dead, alive, you know, things like that. So just because he had conditions a little bit better, like he had a place to sleep and he had food, things like that, it was still a terrible experience for him. But yeah, since he was a doctor and all the other um, Jew doctors that were there, they were um, taken away and they were used to do research on the Jews that either died in the camps or were killed in the camps. So Miklos, he did a bunch of dissections on the Jews and um, yeah, just a bunch of research and paperwork um, he was doing for the Nazis and the Germans. So yes, the author talks about um, his experience with the dissections and the research and he also talks about the things that he saw and the things that he found out um, like about the crematoriums he found out ways of how the jews were killed and just kind of how the nazis and the germans thought about the jews and it was kind of ridiculous how the nazis kind of thought of the jews like for example um the author talks about how the nazis really thought that um, dwarfism was the Jews' fault. Like it was no one else's fault, which is really ridiculous because anyone could suffer from dwarfism. But yeah, that was just their thinking. They just blamed the Jews for these ridiculous things that really obviously wasn't their fault at all. And some other things that the author found out while he was in the camps is before the Jews were cremated at the crematoriums, um, the Nazis would take any of their valuables like jewelry, um, if they had any fake teeth or gold in their teeth, they would take that out as well because of, that was some value. And also another thing that the author found out about that he knew if anyone knew that he knew about this, he would be killed instantly is um, a way that the Jews were killed. There was four ways that the Jews were killed. It was by fire, burning them, um, the gas chambers, and also being shot. But the fourth one was a complete secret that no one knew about. And this is something that the doctor actually found out about because while he was doing his dissections, he was able to see it in his body. But um, the Jews were actually injected with chloroform and that actually killed them instantly. And this was a huge secret of the Nazis. They didn't want anyone knowing this, but because, um, you know, the doctor did his dissections, he was able to see that the cause of death was um, the chloroform injections. And when he was filling out his paperwork, he had to, um, lie saying that the cause of death was something else other than the chloroform injections because 
um, this was like a total secret of the Nazis, that this was a way that they were killing Jews. So those were the four different ways that they killed Jews, and sometimes they would use more than one ways. Honestly, sometimes they would use all four ways. Yeah, so that's just a little bit of background of this book, some of the things that um, the doctor or the author witnessed while he was there. And of course, he obviously made it out alive because he was able to write this book and tell his story to the world. So my overall thoughts on this book is I thought it was a good book. It was very interesting. This is just a topic that's a part of history and it was such a, you know, a terrible time and a terrible thing that's happened. And, you know, sometimes it's kind of hard to read on these things and read some of the things that these people went through for really no reason at all. There's no reason at all that the Jews had to go through something as terrible as this and there's no reason that anyone should go through something like this but um it is a part of history and I found it very interesting um there were some times that I did get a little bored with the book I'm kind of midway through um really no reason why that just happens with me sometimes sometimes when I'm reading a book sometimes I just get bored with it at some at certain points and I get a little bit uninterested, but um, overall, I really did enjoy this book and I think it's a good book. And if you're someone that is really into history or true stories or eyewitness accounts, I would definitely read this book. And um, you definitely learn a lot. You learn the other side of the concentration camp. Like this doctor, he didn't experience, um, you know, what most of the Jews experience. He was actually taken care of and he was actually, you know, doing research for the Nazis and he found out so many different things that um, I've never heard of before. So I definitely learned some things for, through this book. So yeah, that is my book review on Auschwitz, a doctor's eyewitness account. I really hope you all enjoyed this book review. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you like me doing book reviews in general, make sure to give this video a thumbs up as well. I will try my best to keep doing book reviews for you guys. And before I go, I want to give a shout out to a few of my new subscribers today. Tina P. Letitia B. Zary Lovechick, Aristia D, Nicole M, Yasmin M, Wildcats Carolita, and Stephanie A. I want to say hi to you guys. Thank you so much for subscribing to me and watching my videos. I really appreciate it and I really hope you all enjoyed this video. So until my next video, I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see you all in my next video. Bye everyone.